Alberta government presents Driver's Guide to Operation, Safety, and Licensing Cars and Light Trucks Chapter 1 Licensing Information Graduated Driver Licensing Regardless of age, all new drivers are part of the Graduated Driver Licensing Program, GDL program. This program ensures new drivers get the support, skills, and experience they need to handle the complex tasks of driving. GDL improves road safety by creating a safe and controlled environment for all new drivers. As a GDL driver, you will hold one of the following driver's license. Stage 1, Class 7, Learner's Driver's License. Stage 2, Class 5, GDL, Probationary License. The following information highlights the key features of the learner, stage 1, and probationary stage, stage 2, phases of the Graduated Driver Licensing Program. Stage 1, Learner, Class 7. To obtain a Class 7 Learner's Driver's License, you must be 14 years of age or older, pass a vision screening, pass a knowledge test on the rules of the road, have parental consent if you are under 18 years of age, have valid identification. Learner's Conditions You must hold a Learner's Driver's License, Class 7, for at least one year. You must be accompanied by a fully licensed, non-GDL probationary driver who is 18 years of age or older and is seated next to you. You are not permitted to drive from midnight to 5 a.m. You are not permitted to have more passengers than seat belts. You will be suspended if you accumulate eight or more demerit points. You must have zero alcohol level when driving or riding a motorcycle. Stage two, GDL probationary, class five GDL. To become a probationary driver, you must hold your class seven driver's license for at least a year, this time will be extended if you receive a suspension of your driving privileges, be 16 years of age or older, pass the basic Alberta Class 5 road test. Probationary conditions. You must be a probationary driver for a minimum of two years. You must have no more passengers than seat belts. You will be suspended if you accumulate eight or more demerit points. You must have a zero alcohol level when driving. You are not able to reclass your license to a commercial driver's license, classes 1, 2, 3, or 4. You cannot serve as an accompanying driver to a learner. Stage 3. Full, non-GDL driver's license, class 5. To become a fully licensed driver, you must have been suspension-free for the last 12 months of the probationary stage, pass the advanced road test. It will take a minimum of three years to complete both the learner's and probationary stages of the program. Exiting the GDL program. Exiting the GDL program is not mandatory. However, if you do exit from GDL, you will move from a class five GDL to a full class five driver's license, qualify to reclass to a class one, two, three, or four driver's license, increase the number of demerits you are allowed, remove the zero alcohol tolerance condition, be able to be an accompanying driver to a learner. To exit the GDL program, you must be in the probationary stage for a minimum of two years, be suspension free for the last 12 months of the two year probationary stage, pass the advanced road test. Knowledge test. To obtain your learner's driver's license, you will need to pass a knowledge test. You can take your knowledge test at most Alberta Registry Agent offices. The test is based on questions taken from this guide. You will be asked about safe driving practices, driving laws, and road signs. The test is 30 multiple choice questions, and you must score a minimum of 25 correct responses out of 30 to pass the test. You will do the test on a computer. When you pass the knowledge test, you must take the knowledge test permit you purchased to do the test to a registry agent to ensure your driver's license is updated. The test permit is not a driver's license. The electronic driver knowledge test is available in the 10 following languages. English, Arabic, Chinese, traditional, 
Farsi, French, Hindi, Punjabi, Spanish, Tagalog, Vietnamese. There is a fee for each knowledge test that you take, and you can take only one test per day. Vision Requirements A vision assessment is required before you are eligible to obtain an Alberta driver's license. If you do not meet the vision standards, you will be referred to an optometrist or an ophthalmologist to have a vision referral form completed. If you have corrective glasses or contact lenses, bring them with you for your assessment. Class 5 Road Tests Class 5 is the most commonly held driver's license, allowing drivers to operate cars and other light vehicles. The Basic Road Test Passing the Basic Road Test allows GDL drivers to move from a Class 7 Learner License to a Class 5 GDL Driver's License. This test determines whether a learner has developed the driving skills necessary, like safe vehicle handling, judgment, and a knowledge of the rules of the road to become a Class 5 GDL probationary driver. When you pass the basic road test, you must take the road test permit you purchased to do the test to a registry agent to ensure your driver's license is updated. The test permit is not a driver's license. During the probationary stage, you will have a minimum of two years to further develop the skills necessary to take the advanced road test and exit the GDL program. This road test is approximately 25 to 30 minutes. This will include the driver examiner's pre-test instructions and a summary of your results. You will be required to demonstrate the ability to operate your vehicle safely without supervision while interacting with other road users. The vehicle for your road test must be in acceptable working condition and must have the following. A valid license plate and insurance. Headlights, brake lights, and signal lights. Horn. Speedometer. Brakes and park brake. Unobstructed windshield and wipers. Tires. Driver and passenger doors. Vehicle seats and seat belts. Exhaust system muffler. Mirrors. Enough fuel for a road test. This test will include identifying and operating your vehicle's controls. In addition, you will be required to demonstrate your knowledge and skill in handling the vehicle, steering, braking, and speed control, selecting the proper lane for turns, observing and obeying speed zones, determining the right of way at intersections and while changing lanes, demonstrating knowledge and skill at intersections with and without sign and signal controls, interacting with other road users in a non-obstructive manner, parking, parallel and on a hill. The Advanced Road Test The Advanced Road Test determines whether a probationary driver has gained the necessary advanced driving skills and experience under challenging conditions to become a fully licensed driver. You will need to pass this test to exit the graduated licensing program and be a full class 5 non-GDL driver. This road test is approximately 60 minutes, including your driver examiner's pre-test instructions and summary of your results. The advanced road test will also include a variety of intersection types, including uncontrolled T intersections, high-speed roadways of 80 to 100 kilometers per hour, merging on the highway with acceleration and deceleration lanes, high volume traffic areas, parking, an angle or perpendicular park. The advanced test does include a parallel and hill park. Some common reasons for not passing the road tests. Exceeding the minimum number of points for errors. Regardless of the number of points for errors, the following are some of the reasons for automatic failure. Exceeding the speed limit or driving too fast for the conditions. Failing to stop completely before proceeding through an intersection controlled by a stop sign or before turning right on a red light. Failing to yield the right of way at an intersection or during a lane change. Obstructing traffic by driving too slowly or stopping unnecessarily. Climbing over the curb while parking or being unable to park legally in three attempts. Failing to slow or observe adequately at uncontrolled intersections. 
you must be prepared to yield to drivers on your right. When you pass the advanced road test, you must take the road test permit you purchased to do the test to a registry agent to ensure your driver's license is updated. The test permit is not a driver's license. Types of vehicles for license class. Class 7, GDL. A person 14 years of age or older may apply for a learner's driver's license. A parent or guardian must give consent on the application if the person applying is under 18 years of age. For learning, and while accompanied by a fully licensed driver, the holder of a Class 7 driver's license may operate the following. A vehicle or vehicle trailer combination that the holder of a Class 5 driver's license may operate. A motorcycle must be 16 years of age or older when learning with a supervisor who holds a Class 7 non-GDL license. A moped. Class 5, GDL. The minimum licensing age is 16 years. Anyone under the age of 18 years applying for a driver's license must have parental or guardian consent. The holder of a Class 5 GDL driver's license may operate the following. A vehicle or vehicle trailer combination that the holder of a Class 5 driver's license may operate. Class 5, non-GDL. The minimum licensing age is 18 years. The holder of a Class 5 non-GDL driver's license may operate the following. A vehicle or vehicle trailer combination that the holder of a Class 5 driver's license may operate. Vehicles that may be operated with a Class 5 driver's license. A vehicle with only two axles. A recreational vehicle with not more than three axles. A vehicle with only two axles while that vehicle is towing a trailer with one or more axles and is not equipped with air brakes. A recreational vehicle with only two axles while that vehicle is towing a trailer with one or more axles and the trailer is not equipped with air brakes. A recreational vehicle with three axles while that vehicle is towing a trailer that has one or two axles and is not equipped with air brakes. A moped. All motor vehicles included under classes 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the learner is at least 18 years of age. For learning, you must have a supervisor with a valid driver's license for the type of vehicle. A motorcycle for learning with a supervisor who holds a Class 6 non-GDL license. The holder of a Class 5 driver's license shall not operate a motorcycle, unless for learning, a vehicle with seating capacity of more than 15 while that vehicle is transporting any person other than the driver, a vehicle transporting passengers for hire, a vehicle equipped with air brakes unless the supervisor has an air brake endorsement. For hire driver license requirements. A class four driver's license is required when the vehicle owner or operator or the operator's employer is being paid for the service that the vehicle is being used to provide. The class four driver's license is not required when the vehicle owner or operator or operator's employer drives a private passenger vehicle for the transportation of passengers on an incidental or occasional basis and receives compensation for payment for the kilometers traveled or straight reimbursement or out-of-pocket expenses directly related to the transportation such as gas, parking, gate passes and tools, or when the vehicle operator is party to an agreement to provide transportation for compensation only to the operator's family members, member of the operator's household, Persons for whom the operator is a legal guardian. Air brake endorsement. Q. When a person successfully completes an approved Alberta air brake course through an authorized agency, an air brake endorsement, the letter Q, will be placed on that driver's license for any license other than Class 1. Note. Drivers with a Class 1 driver's license automatically have an air brake endorsement, although it will not appear on the driver's license. A Class 1 driver's license cannot be obtained without the holder first having successfully completed an approved air brake course. Therefore, the air brake endorsement is implied with a Class 1 driver's license. 
An air brake endorsement is required for drivers of vehicles with an air-only braking system or a combination of air and hydraulic braking system. For information on taking an approved air brake course, please refer to our website www.transportation.alberta.ca slash 4474.htm Licensed Driver Examiner A licensed driver examiner is a person who conducts road tests on behalf of the Alberta government. These are private sector individuals trained, licensed, monitored, and audited by the government and who provide examining through a registry agent office. Driver's License A driver's license is a license to operate a motor vehicle issued pursuant to the Traffic Safety Act. A person shall not drive a motor vehicle on a highway unless that person's driver's license is in that person's possession. On the request of a peace officer, a person driving a motor vehicle shall produce their subsisting driver's license, insurance, and registration. Ensure that these documents are with you every time you operate a motor vehicle. Applying for your Alberta driver's license. Driver licensing services are provided through the Alberta Registry Agent Network. When applying for an Alberta driver's license, you must provide identification. For information on the identification requirements, visit www.servicealberta.gov.ab.ca slash 1305.cfm or contact a registry agent at www.servicealberta.gov.ab.ca. A driver's license may only be issued to residents of Alberta. A resident is a person lawfully entitled to be in Canada who makes their home in Alberta and is ordinarily present in Alberta. Applicants originating from outside Canada or the United States must produce suitable immigration documents to be considered residents. Parental Consent Requirements If you are under the age of 18 and are applying for a driver's license for the first time, your parent or legal guardian who must show proof of guardianship, must accompany you to a registry office to sign a consent on your license application. Parents or legal guardians have the right to withdraw their consent in writing at any time until the person reaches the age of 18 years. If they do, the driver's license privileges will be suspended. The signature of your parent or legal guardian is not required if you can provide documentation that you are married or self-supporting. Non-Alberta License for Tourists and Visitors A person visiting Alberta who is authorized to drive a motor vehicle of a particular class or type under a valid license or permit issued outside Alberta is not required to hold a current and valid driver's license if the person drives the same type or class of motor vehicle while visiting in Alberta. New Alberta Residents From Other Places in Canada People who have recently moved to Alberta may use their valid driver's license from outside Alberta for the first 90 days of their residency. They must apply for an Alberta driver's license and give their old license to an Alberta registry agent office within those 90 days. It is illegal to hold more than one driver's license. A driver's license from another jurisdiction within Canada is accepted as the same class without testing. Applicants for class 1 two or four licenses must provide a medical report and pass a vision screening. From the United States License holders from the United States other than those in class 5, 6, and 7 must complete all requirements. When you apply, you may be required to provide documents to prove residency. For details, inquire at your local registry agent office. Countries with reciprocal licensing agreements as of June 2014, Alberta has reciprocal licensing agreements with the following countries. Austria, Australia, Belgium, England, France, Germany, Isle of Man, Japan, Northern Ireland, Republic of Korea, Scotland, Switzerland, United States, Wales. 
a valid license from a country that has a reciprocal licensing agreement with Alberta can be exchanged for a Class 5 license when the applicant presents a valid license of equivalent class. Note, Japanese license exchanges must be completed at an approved registry agent office. Parental consent is required for applicants under 18 years of age. All other license classes require testing and vision screening. The applicants must disclose all medical conditions and physical disabilities that may affect their ability to safely operate a motor vehicle. All applicants must produce immigration and residency documentation along with acceptable identification. Countries without reciprocal licensing agreements. A person coming to Alberta from outside Canada may apply to have their previous driving history credited to their Alberta driving record. A successful application will grant exemption from the Graduated Driver Licensing GDL, program and allow for Class 5 road testing without being required to hold a Class 7 driver's license for one year. More information about the process for exchanging a license from a non-reciprocal country is available at any registry agent office. Students. A student is not required to obtain an Alberta driver's license when operating a motor vehicle if the following apply. The student is authorized to operate a motor vehicle of the same type or class by the laws of the jurisdiction in which the student ordinarily resides. The documents required by the laws of the jurisdiction where the student ordinarily resides are carried by the student or are in the vehicle. The student must carry proof showing that they are a full-time student in this province. Medical Requirements It is your responsibility and legal obligation to disclose any medical or physical condition that may interfere with the safe operation of a motor vehicle. If you have a medical or physical condition, you will be required to provide a completed medical examination for motor vehicle operators form. Medical examination forms can be obtained from an Alberta registry agent office or your doctor. Your doctor must complete this form. The medical examination form must be returned to an Alberta registry agent office. A person 75 years of age or older who applies for a driver's license or is renewing their existing driver's license, must provide a medical examination for motor vehicle operators form and have their vision assessed at an Alberta registry agent office. The medical examination for motor vehicle operators form must be completed and signed by a physician. You may be requested to provide a medical report, regardless of your age, to determine your medical fitness to operate a motor vehicle. The basic road test may be requested for any driver if there are concerns about their medical fitness. Driver license classes 1, 2, or 4. A person who applies for or renews a class 1, 2, or 4 driver's license must provide a completed medical examination for motor vehicles operators form. This will be required for every 5 years to the age 45 then every two years until the age 65, and annually thereafter. Condition Codes and Endorsements Condition Codes A condition code may be added to a person's driver's license to ensure that the person meets the requirements to operate a motor vehicle. For example, all drivers must meet specific vision requirements to operate a vehicle. If you require glasses or contact lenses to improve your vision to these specific standards, you will have a condition code placed on your driver's license indicating this requirement. Also, a person can be required to have a health examination by a doctor periodically to be allowed to drive, and this will be indicated on the driver's license. In more extreme situations, a change in a person's situation can make it impossible for them to safely operate a vehicle. These situations are not common, but do mean that the person is not able to be licensed to operate a vehicle. Endorsement codes. An endorsement code on a driver's license shows that the person has a specific education or training, like completing a novice driver education course or a course specific to operating a school bus. 
An endorsement may also indicate that the person is permitted to drive a vehicle that has a specific feature, like a vehicle with air brakes. Each condition or endorsement has a letter code attached to it and may be shown on the driver's license. Conditions and endorsements specific to you are placed on the front of the license in the cond slash end section. Some of the condition codes and endorsements have an explanation on the back of the driver's license. Driver license condition codes. A. Adequate lenses. B. Special conditions. C. Periodic medical. D. Periodic vision report. E. Periodic driver examination. F. Valid temporary license. G. Valid without photo. H. Daylight driving only. J. Outside mirrors. K. Automatic transmission. L. Hand controls. M. Under Alberta Transportation Safety Board Review. N. Excludes Class 2 and 4 testing. P. Testing to be conducted by provincial examiner only. T. Special medical. Driver's license endorsements. Q. Air brakes. S. School bus. V. Extended length vehicle combinations. U. Completed a driver education course. D. E. M. P. T. And U. Do not appear on the driver's license. Reclassing your license. When reclassing your driver's license, excluding class 7 to class 5, you must present proof that you have completed a knowledge test and a vision test through a registry agent office. Reclassing your driver's license from your current class to a class 1, 2, or 4 license will also require a medical report. See the medical requirements section for more information. A fee is charged for each knowledge test, road test, and for the final license reclassification service. For more information regarding current fees, contact a registry agent office or a driver examiner. Road test fees may vary between registry agent offices. Driving with the wrong license class is against the law. It is an offense for vehicle owners to allow their vehicle to be used by someone who does not have the proper class of driving license for that vehicle. Replacing your Alberta driver's license. If your driver's license is lost, stolen, destroyed, or is unreadable, you must apply for a replacement immediately at a registration office. If your driver's license is stolen, you must report it to the police and provide a copy of the police report to the registry agent when you apply for your replacement. All services for your driver's license must be done in person. Renewing your Alberta driver's license. A renewal application will be mailed to the address on your operator record well before the expiry date. To be eligible to drive, you must renew your driver's license before it expires. If your driver's license expires prior to renewing, you will not be able to drive until it is renewed. If you do not receive your renewal application prior to your expiry date, it is your responsibility to ensure it is renewed before you operate a vehicle. Updating your Alberta driver's license. To change information, such as your name, address, gender, or license class on your driver's license, visit an Alberta registry agent office. The law requires that you have the correct information, such as name or address change, on your driver's license. You may be required to provide proper identification before any change, replacement, or renewal can be made. To replace, renew, or update your Alberta driver's license, contact a registry agent by visiting www servicealberta.gov.ab.ca slash 1641.cfm Registration and Insurance Registration Motor vehicles and trailers traveling on Alberta roadways must be registered. Registration certificates cannot be issued to anyone under the age of 18 years unless the application for registration is also signed by a parent or guardian. 
a parent or guardian has the right to withdraw their consent in writing during this time. If consent is withdrawn, the license plate and vehicle registration will be suspended. The signature of your parent or guardian is not required if you can prove you are married or self-supporting. In Alberta, license plates remain with the owner of the vehicle and are not transferable to another person. A vehicle owner must register their vehicle within three months of moving to Alberta. Insurance requirements. All motor vehicles must be insured with a public liability insurance policy as outlined in the Alberta Insurance Act. It is illegal to operate an uninsured motor vehicle. Your insurance company issues a financial responsibility card, pink card, which must be presented when registering a vehicle and when requested by a peace officer. This ends Chapter 1 of the Alberta Driver's Guide. It is illegal to operate an uninsured motor vehicle. Your insurance company issues a financial responsibility card, pink card, which must be presented when registering a vehicle and when requested by a peace officer. This ends Chapter 1 of the Alberta Driver's Guide.